Hey everyone, it's your girl Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. So first thing, I am not naked. I actually have a dress on. It's a very pretty dress. Anyways, I'm doing a chit chat. Get right with me because I haven't, like, I don't feel like I've been very connected with my videos lately. Um, if you guys do know, I did start school recently. Today is Sunday and my stepsister, evil stepsister, is babysitting a child. And he was crying at 8 o'clock in the fucking morning. And I just got up and I was like, why the fuck is he crying? Like, it's 8 in the morning. I feel like I should put a necklace on because I just feel so like, meh. Shut the fuck up, man. So I recently broke my mirror that I was using for my videos and it sucks because now I have to use like a smaller mirror. So I think I'm going to start this off with the shade Salted Caramel from the Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, I'm just going to grab this on my Coastal Sense SO6 brush, I don't know, BRC SO6, I'm going to call it the SO6 brush. I'm just basically going to start by taking this. Normally, just a little bit above my crease. You guys know my eyes are very, my eyelids are very small, so I like to go just a little bit above. And I'm just going to work this into my crease and making sure to really round it and get it in here. And I'm not going to go too heavy with it. A trick that I learned from watching another video was to hold your brush like from the end, don't hold it too close. I used to like to do that, but this doesn't give you very much, um, I guess, kind of control of the brush, which kind of kind of is confusing but when you hold it this way you let the brush like the bristles do all the work if you hold it this way you're doing the work and you're making it harder for yourself but um the reason we have makeup brushes is so it blends the eyeshadow and if you're holding it up here you're not letting it blend the shadow so if you hold it from the end and just move the brush those bristles are going to do exactly what they're made to do blend um, now what i'm going to do is i am taking a red shadow and I'm going to take this shadow here. This is the only one I've got. The shadow that Shannon used wasn't very pigmented. It was more like of a peachy cranberry color. This one is a straight up like red. So I just want to go lighter with it. Um, so I'm really going to tap that product out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this directly into my crease. And just work it all the way down here. And then once this is blended and I feel comfortable, I'll grab a little bit more product and work it in again. Alright, now I'm going to grab these two browns here. Um, basically, you want to grab a very like red tone kind of brown. And then I'm just going to go ahead and focus this right on the outer V area. Just here. So I was having a dream last night, guys. It was pretty horrible. I had a, like, I guess you could call him stalker. But it was like this person set out to kill me. Um, and literally he wouldn't, like, he would not let me buy any makeup. Alright, so I'm taking a pigment. Don't know what it's called. I'll have to put it in the description. I'm going to grab some of this on the Real Techniques brush, which is this one. Anyways, I'm taking that pigment, and I'm going to place this in the inner area here. And then right here on my outer V. And then I'm going to go in with my brush, just make sure to tap everything out. And then I'm just going to blend those colors. Okay, so I want to bring up something that is so fucked up. Like, so fucked up. If you guys... If you guys watch the um, MTV Music Awards, you guys probably saw... Okay, if you guys are fans of Five Sauce and Fifth Harmony, you guys would know that they were rivals and winning one of the awards. And, um... Now, I don't really listen to um, Five Sauce very often. Um, mostly when my best friend listens to it. 
Um, and same goes for like Fifth Harmony. I don't, I don't search them up on my own. I just let them play if they're like on Pandora or something. So I was voting for them, and then they ended up winning. Um, they beat the Fifth Harmony girls by two million. Congratulations, guys! Which, of course, pretty much is gonna suck for the Fifth Harmony girls and their fans. Um, but I figured like music is music, and we're gonna appreciate. We should appreciate it no matter who it is or what they win. Um, just because like the message is good the vibe is good the music is good um, the people are great people so it shouldn't be like a theme where if somebody wins an award and the other person doesn't you don't attack them um, but these fifth harmony fans did I don't think I personally just don't think it is okay so my best friend was saying that Ash the drummer which is the one that I actually find fucking attractive um, <laughs> he apparently I guess cut himself, um, you know, before they were making the music or whatever. Don't, I, don't quote me on this, okay? Um, because he was very depressed, which, nowadays, that happens. That is, that's common these days. And if you girls out there, or guys watching my video, if you guys did struggle with something like that, then you guys know, you guys know how hard it is to deal with something like that. It's such a cruel thing what you girls did, or guys. It's just... She said that a lot of the Fifth Harmony fans um, were tweeting to Ash, you know, cut yourself, kill yourself, suicide, this and that, um, making jokes about it because they lost, which is not okay um, for you to treat another human being that way. And I just feel like, what are these Fifth Harmony girls, I don't even know their names, like Camila, is her name like Lauren or something, don't know their names. Um, why are they letting their fans be this way towards other um, bands? And I, nobody, like none of the Fifth Harmony girls have tweeted to their fans like, stop, like this is not okay. And I, I almost feel like I want to tweet one of those Fifth Harmony girls and let them know what their fans are doing because it is wrong. Like, it just shows what kind of people they have following them and it just, it's horrible. I feel like it's horrible. Anyways, that's really all I have to say about it. If you guys are Fifth Harmony fans, or Five Sauce fans, let me know what you guys think about that down below because I feel like it's such a big topic. Um, so this is what the ads are looking like so far. Um, I do want to put a little bit more cranberry into that. So, I'm just going to grab a blush. Um, I'll go with this one because it's very like warm. I feel like a little bit kind of autumn-y. I'm just going to grab this on the Coastal Scents brush. And I'm just going to take this and just run it just here just to bring some more warmth to the eye and I'm also going to drag it under here why does this always happen to me like I go and I put a little bit of shadow at a time a little bit of shadow and I build it up and it's like a shit ton of fucking eyeshadow I don't understand. So I'm going to start off with a primer. Okay, so I'm going to mix my foundations. Today I'm going to use more the True Match and then some of this. Uh, you guys know I don't really like this one too much, but it's the only foundations that I have at the moment. I do have another one that is way too fucking dark for my skin. So I'm going to mix these two together. Oh, by the way, I'm using my Real Techniques sponge thing. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. Ah, I love the consistency of it. It's so thick. And so for my under eyes, I think I'm gonna use this eyeshadow here. This very like white shadow. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of a setting powder that I have by Ulta. I'm using my all my powder here. I like to just like really pat it on my nose because this is where I get the most oily. So I'll just kind of like really pat that shit into my face. Take 
taking this brush here by Sonia Katschuk and my like stuff that I have. <laughs> Why it's so fucking hot right now? Okay, I'm gonna bronze and then contour at the same time. So just like this, right? Okay. Then I'm gonna take it up, right? Okay. Just along my face like that. And then same thing here. I'm just going to like pull my hair back and then just like take my brush like this. I don't even think I know how to like bronze and contour yet. I still think that I'm learning this shit. Because it's like hard. Okay, since we're like already here basically, I'm gonna try to contour the nose. So I'm gonna use this brush that I like never use because I really don't like it by Sonia Kashuk. It's like the blending. And I was watching Carly Bybel and she was saying that you contour the nose more here because as you're blending what's going to happen is you're going to blend the powder down. Ooh, damn. Shit, I need to contour my nose more often. This looks awesome. Wow. Is this real life? Okay. That's my nose. It looks pretty cool. I'm feeling this one, right? Just because the eyes are so dark. Here we go. Just gonna bronze the cheekbones. I wish I had champagne pop. I'd, I'd use that like every day. Even if I didn't put makeup on, I'd just be like, okay, I'm gonna just highlight real quick for a minute. Okay. So Shannon didn't do any glitter, but you guys know that I love glitter. So I'm gonna use the Roll and Shimmer by Nick right here on the center of my eyelid. Okay. And just with my finger, I'll pat that. Little jumbo pencil and milk. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit. And I like just place it in there. Just kind of roll it around a little bit. Grab with the pencil. Just grab it and I'll give this area just a little bit of a blend. Now I feel like doing a wing. And then I'll put on a pair of wings. Wings lashes these ones are star death okay so my lashes are on i love them they're the, they're like um thinner here and then they go out thicker which is great because of the wing it like gives a really like flared lifted look and i really like it so far so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a close-up on the eyes and then we'll go ahead and finish off the use a NYX lip liner this one is like a purple one if you have a cranberry or even like a color that will match the lip stick that you want to use use that I'm going in with the NARS velvet matte lip pencil I'm gonna fill in my entire lip with this this is Cruella okay so this is what I have so far and I think that I like it a lot um, I probably wouldn't wear it to school Actually, no, that's why. Knowing me, I would wear this to school. I wore, like, a really fucking dramatic smoky eye the other day. It was, like, a like a burgundy, like, not a burgundy, like, a coppery kind of smoky eye the other day. So fucking OTT, but I loved it. Um, and I love this, too. So, <laughs> damn. Um, okay, so that's going to be it for today's video. The lighting is already starting to go bad because it's almost 2 in the afternoon. If you guys are new to my channel, this is your very first video you guys are seeing, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and explore my channel. I've got quite a wide variety of videos that I do have up already and if you guys just like what you see, please. I'm trying to get my channel to grow. I'm almost at 200 subscribers, but it is a difficult um, climbing, I guess, there. It's pretty difficult to get there. So, if you guys would please just help me out by sharing the video, um, sharing my channel, liking my videos, that's going to help my ratings go up a little bit better. Give me some comments down below, that will also help as well. I'm going to, I can't make you promises, um, if you guys do enjoy watching my videos and you guys look forward to them, I can't make you guys any promises that I can upload every week. I'm going to try to upload a video once, once, just once every week. I know that I was doing it like two or three times a week during the summer, but like I was saying earlier, it's just going to be a lot harder since the school year has come back. But honestly, 
this this is what I look forward to all the time. It's the editing, it's the filming, it's the makeup, it's the community, it's my friends, and it's just this. This this is what I look forward to most of the time. Um, I can dedicate my entire life to this, and I'm gonna try. I promise that I'm gonna try, and if I don't fulfill that promise, um, you guys can all unsubscribe to me. <laughs> You guys can just be like, bye Felicia, if you want to, but I guarantee that I won't disappoint you to that point. But yeah, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to just hang out with me, listen to what I've got to say, just kind of have a chill day um, with each other, so I really do appreciate that, and I'm glad that you guys did take the time to do that. And I, I hope that like my personality does come across to you guys, and that you guys do like it, um, and that I'm actually interesting enough for you guys. Uh, this, is, this is like itching me. Huh take it off. Anyways guys, I hope that you guys do enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye!